Welcome into NFL Daily. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. You can give me a follow on Twitter, at HGrahamNFL. More thoughts around the NFL over there. Today's show, five players that could get traded before the NFL draft on Thursday. And this comes, of course, following the Orlando Brown mega trade that took place on Friday between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. If you missed it, here are the trade details. Orlando Brown to Kansas City, plus a second-round pick and a 2022 sixth-round pick. Baltimore received the Chiefs' first, third, and fourth-round picks this year and a 2022 fifth-round pick as well. A lot of moving parts, but Kansas City lands their left tackle of the future in this move. Before we get into five players that I believe could be on the move before the draft following Orlando Brown, let us know who won the Brown trade. Type KC for Kansas City. Type BAL for the Baltimore Ravens. Get your votes in who won the Orlando Brown trade. Let's start with Teddy Bridgewater here as we'll get to another quarterback in just a second as well. And this one's obvious, right? Because it uh, doesn't mean it'll happen. But Carolina is open to trading Bridgewater because they, of course, traded for Sam Darnold, who presumably will be their starting quarterback for the 2021 season. He's got a couple of years left on his deal. Teddy B does, uh, you know, 17, 18 million on each year. So not the easiest contract to trade, but someone who's at least a serviceable starting quarterback at this point. He's not a long-term solution for anyone, but 69% guy, he's always been accurate. Uh, 15 to 11 touchdown interception ratio. Not exactly what you're looking for. You'd like to see more touchdowns there, but QBR of 64, that tells you he played above average football last year, which isn't bad by any means. He's only 28 years old. I think there's some teams that could make sense for Teddy Bridgewater. I think a team like Denver, maybe a team like Houston wants to bring in some competition for Terod Taylor, assuming the Deshaun Watson situation isn't resolved by the start of the season. There are teams out there that could use Bridgewater services and could even start him in the right scenario for this upcoming season. Before we get to our next player, join us here on Chat Sports for live NFL draft coverage. All seven rounds will be on Chat Sports. You see the link below. It's youtube.com slash chat sports TV. Don't miss any of our live coverage because, hey, we're going to break down every single pick. Subscribe, turn on noties, and then join us this Thursday. Next up is Jimmy Garoppolo, another quarterback here. I think this one's a little less likely because of his contract situation, but the 49ers are going to draft a quarterback with the number three overall pick. They claim they want to keep Jimmy G, and there's some chatter that whoever they draft may even sit for a year behind Jimmy G, but... Look, when you trade the assets they did to get up to the number three pick, and that tells me that you're not sold on the current quarterback that you have, and trading him or, and, and or flat out cutting him could be on the table. Now, Garoppolo was great, or at least really good in 2019, but dealt with injuries in 2020, right? Only played in six games. Seven to five touchdown interception ratio was a big reason why the 49ers went to the Super Bowl in that 2019 season, along with that great defense, of course, but didn't play as well and obviously didn't play as often this past year. Availability is very important in the NFL, especially at quarterback, and that's been a problem for Garoppolo since he's been in the National Football League. He's missed a lot of games for a variety of injuries, which is why Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch moved up to get that number three pick. So I definitely think they're open to trading him. If they can find a trade partner and uh, you know compensation that they like, then I definitely think he could get dealt before or even during the NFL draft. Pick a quarterback to trade for. Type JG for Jimmy Garoppolo. Type TB for Teddy Bridgewater. If you're running a franchise, which of these quarterbacks would you rather trade for? Similar age, Garoppolo more upside, obviously, but get your votes in JG or TB. Let's go to Michael Gallup of the Dallas Cowboys as we take a look at some NFL trade candidates here. And trade rumors have been circulating around Gallup throughout this offseason. And the reason why is they have Amari Cooper, who's entering the second year of a five-year, $100 million contract. They drafted C.D. Lamb last year, who they want to keep long-term. Can you keep all three of those guys on pretty significant contracts long-term? Probably not. And hey, Dallas needs to get better on defense, so trading a guy like Michael Gallup could maybe help you do that. You get an extra second or third round pick, or maybe you flip him for a defensive back or something like that. I don't believe the Cowboys can keep all three wide receivers. I think it becomes too challenging uh, when it comes to your salary cap, especially since you've invested so much on your offense already with guys like Dat Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott as well. 
Gallup's a really good player. He's a solid number two. He's an excellent number three. And I think even in the right situation, could become a low-end number one type of receiver. In 2019, he was fantastic. Wasn't as good last year. Obviously, some targets went to C.D. Lamb, the rookie out of Oklahoma. But still, almost 850 yards, five touchdowns. And remember, Dak Prescott only played in about five games last year. So pretty good numbers overall for Gallup on a team that struggled offensively after Dak went out. And he's a guy that would have some value. Now, he's in Entering the final year of his rookie contract, so A, if a team wants to trade for him, you're not commi committing too much because uh, cheap rookie deal, final year of his contract, not too big of an investment. Uh, but B, that could also mean his trade value may not be as good for Dallas. So we'll wait and see. I think the Cowboys are a team to watch during the NFL draft, and flipping Gallup for a pick could be on the table. One has to go. If you're the Cowboys, you got to get one of the rid of one of these three guys long term. I don't think it's Lamb because he's still on the second year of his rookie deal. Pretty much it's probably down to Amari Cooper or Michael Gallup. Type AC for Cooper, CL for CeeDee Lamb, MG for Michael Gallup. Remember, the Cowboys can get out of Amari Cooper's contract after this season for minimum dead cap penalty. Get your votes in AC, CL, or MG. Stephon Gilmore, the cornerback of the Patriots, is next up here, and he's also entering the final year of his current contract, a cap hit of about $16 million this year uh, with the Patriots. We know they're open to trading him. Those reports have been uh, out in public for a couple of months now and uh, dating back to last offseason it. Uh, anyway as well he's still an elite cornerback uh, he fell off a little bit this year he is going to be 31 in September at the start of this next season so wrong side of 30 which can be a concern for cornerbacks and you got to acknowledge too that he simply wasn't as good in 2020 now remember the Patriots had a lot of opt-outs especially on the defensive side of the ball their offense uh, couldn't move the ball which means meant their defense was on the field longer so that could certainly contribute here but you look at how he played last year in 2019 20 pass breakup six picks versus three and just one this year that's a pretty big difference I'm not going to say he fell off a cliff but definitely didn't put together his best season in 2020 if I'm the Patriots I'm trading Gilmore because I'm probably not going to sign him to an extension uh, in which he would be 32 years old starting in 22 uh, 2022, I would trade him, see if I can get like a second round pick for him, uh, flip him, get more draft capital, get younger, and continue to build this new era of Patriots football. I think the Patriots should trade Stephon Gilmore. And then last up here is C.J. Mosley. Remember him? Probably not because he's only played in two games in two years with the Jets. After getting the bag prior to the 2019 season, Baltimore is laughing somewhere. Shout out producer Jeremy on that one. Signed a five-year, $85 million contract prior to 2019. At the time, I was like, hey, I kind of like it. It's an overpay for a linebacker, but that guy was a beast for Baltimore. Played in just two games in 2019, had a groin injury, and then he opted out last year. So you have haven't seen him at all if you are a Jets fan. The Jets are open to moving him. They don't believe he's an exact fit in Robert Sala's defense that he's going to be incorporating there in New York. There's no way to splice this other than Mosley's been a disaster for the Jets. You give a linebacker in today's NFL almost $100 million and he's played two games in two years. That is a big, big problem for the New York Jets. If anybody could take him off their hands, I think they would be uh, uh, jumping at that opportunity. I don't know if there's a team out there that would. You look at the contract situation, the next two years, I mean, someone's stuck with this contract. It's over $20 million in dead penalty uh, for 2021 and 2022. Now, there's an opt-out after that year, obviously only $3 million of dead cap in 23 and even less in 24, but... You're kind of stuck with this guy for the next two years because remember, since he opted out last year, basically his contract just pushed back a year, which really does not line up nicely for the Jets. So we'll see what ends up happening here and if they're able to trade C.J. Mosley. I still think he could be a good player, but uh, hasn't shown that with the New York Jets. Name a player that will get traded before the draft. I just gave you five guys on today's video. If there's a name I didn't think of, go ahead and let me know. And hey, Draft is almost here. You see that link below, youtube.com slash TV. Hit that big red button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.